The building expo is in town. While many rebuild workers were there to pick up innovative ideas, some stalls were hoping to fill a crucial gap in the rebuild. Emma Cropper reports. Recruiting for tradesmen, Kevin Everett is hoping more skilled workers will join the rebuild. The problem is they've got to be seismic and the people we're bringing through, all the, the, the amount of uh, experienced guys that are coming over are mainly from the UK and they don't have the seismic experience which is holding us back. Despite more apprenticeships being offered in trade skills, the rebuild is lacking skilled workers in all areas. Just trying to look outside the square, trying to do some more immigration purposes, trying to do training and uh, you know, bring people in and actually invest some training in them. But the Building Z Design X show isn't lacking in support at the expo. Dozens of exhibits filled the Horncastle Arena, with this being the first time the expo was held in Canterbury. There's between 40 and 50 billion dollars of works that, that need to happen in Christchurch and we're just at the start of the cycle of, of building so in terms of timing, you know, to get builders, specifiers, architects, designers um, coming here and actually starting to order product, um, you know, that the timing couldn't be better in terms of that. Tradies from all corners of the rebuild came out to check out the innovative designs and products. Yeah, there's new products out there um, you don't often see in stores, so I decided to come to the expo, we went to it last year as well, and there's some good new options on um, new products coming into the market. This timber lab is one of the innovative timber ideas beginning to be used in the Christchurch rebuild. With concrete you get crumbling and def deformation but with the timber because of its resilience it's able to spring back into position and uh, be reused, recladded and the building still maintains its structural integrity. It even has the tick of approval from the Anglican Church. It's the base structure of the Christchurch Cardboard Cathedral. The, the main supporting structure are, um, are timber beams that are about 20 metres long and the cardboard is threaded uh, over them. So it's really a timber cathedral disguised as cardboard, I guess. While new structures are going up, safety was key at the expo. This new design of scaffolding has become essential in the rebuild since legislation changed making it compulsory. It's a working platform that we use around residential buildings for working at height so that a person can't fall off the roof. Despite the rebuild gaining pace, rebuild workers were still facing challenges when it came to consents. Oh, they're going through. It's about, you know, they, um, they take time. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day and we've, we've gone through some um, interesting times, so it is what it is really. Whether it's just to check out the new design of carpet or windows, each person visiting today was bound to have some fresh ideas to inject into Canterbury's rebuild. Emma Cropper, CTV News.